Okay, guys, here you have it. This is the last of my Whiskey Mermaid 7 Deadly Sins bath bomb box. This here is Gluttony. He's a piggy. Isn't he cute? I love him. I love him so much I waited until the very end to do him. He is in the birthday cake fragrance. He smells amazing and he's got little jimmies or sprinkles or whatever you want to call them. non -parals. I mean, whatever you want to call it, that's what it is. They're in him so he kind of smells like a cupcake. And pretty much looks like a cupcake. And he's a prettily painted pinky piggy. Let's put him in and let's watch him do his thing. He is absolutely amazing. Once again, this is the Seven Deadly Sins box from Whiskey Mermaid. And this is Gluttony. And if you want to jump on and order any Whiskey Mermaid products, I'm not sure if the box is still available to be ordered, but any Whiskey Mermaid products, all you have to do is hit the link down below and go shopping in her Etsy shop. There it goes. Bye, Piggy. Bye-bye, buddy. I wanted to snap a picture. Okay, is he floating? Is he floating? Is he floating? Oh, he's sinking! He's trying! He's trying! He's teeter-tottering from side to side. Here, I'll just hold him a little bit. Give him a little bit of help. Oh, wow, it's actually very pretty. With the pink. I really like the way that looks with the pink coming off like that. Nice and sparkly. She, this whole Seven Deadly Sins box, she really outdid herself. I mean, really, really outdid herself. Okay, so the turnaround time for Whiskey Mermaid is a teeny bit on the long side. If a product is good, you will wait for it. Unfortunately, it's teeny bit on the long side. Um, she is doing the best she can to pump out these orders for us and make sure that we still get these amazing products. Um, why the time is, you know, during a, a hard time for her right now. She's, uh, for her dad is very sick. So she's dealing with that right now, but she's still pumping out orders and getting stuff out to us so that we can still enjoy, you know? I mean, it's, that's pretty selfless, you know? I just, I don't know. I, I really, I don't know how she's doing it. She's a complete one-woman show. Everything that is made in Whiskey Mermaid is made by the one owner, Katrina. That's it. She is doing it all on her own. All on her own. From making the products to packaging the products to labeling the products to, you know, doing all the orderings to posting updates on stuff and everything. It's, that's it. It's all her. Everything is her. Oh no, he's no longer a piggy. I gotta say though, she is generous, kind, sweet. She's an amazing woman. You know, it's it's very hard to, you know, be, be basically on the verge of saying goodbye to one of your parents. And uh, she's still, she's still doing it. She's still working. She has not shut down. She's... She's doing the best she can right now. So if you do have to wait a little while for a really awesome product, then, you know, wait a little while. And if it's something you don't want to do, then you can go elsewhere. But I definitely would say these products are worth the wait. They're awesome. They're amazing. And if you really think about it, you're not really waiting all that long, you know? Not all that long. But I know a lot of you have brought up to me that, well, you know, her her wait time is a little too much, and, you know, it's it's getting to be a little annoying, this and da-da-da, but, I mean, I gotta tell you, it's a good product. It is. It is a really good product, coming from an amazing person. And I really, really love her stuff. So, is it worth it? I, I definitely say 100%. This Seven Deadly Sins box? awesome I gotta tell you man so awesome I hope she does another one soon I really do and I love that she she researched you know all seven deadly sins did the all you know colorings and you know the horse the uh, the, the woman for what was it uh, I think it was lust was the woman uh, the piggy for gluttony you know because you ever hear me say that I use a full bubble bar because I am a uh, a gluttonous bubble bar piggy, you know, like I, I, was, I say things like that all the time. Well, that's because the pig means gluttony. <laughs> oh, 
I really got a kick out of this box. Look, 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 look at the color, look at the color, look at the embed. It's pink. It's like a pinky peach. Sorry, I snapped a photo of it. I love the way they came out. I am so... What the fuck is that? Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So, I guess she put a snake inside the bomb. Hey, Rich! What? Come here. So she put a little rubbery snake inside the bath bomb. What? 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 Pull this thing out. What is that? It's a rubber snake, but I, I just don't, I'm not feeling comfortable with it. I don't like it. I don't want it in there. You can get it out. Oh, God. Okay. I'll pull. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So it is a little rubbery. Can you show it? <laughs> Why do you like touching snakes? I don't want to touch it. Why? It is not my favorite thing in the world. Okay. Hold on. Okay. That is what was. Stop it, dumbass. Okay, that is what was inside the bath bomb. It's real. It is not real. I just didn't expect it to be in there, and I don't... I just watched a video on the snake's shedding. Okay, can you do me a favor and take it away now? It's like you with the garden snake. Get it out of here. Take it inside or something. Okay. <laughs> I'm a, I didn't expect that to be in there. I'm not a snake fan <laughs> at all. Especially not those little ones, and the fact that I saw his belly up first. Oh, that wakes me out a little bit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. I like that she did that, though. I thought that was really cool. I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I could not do that one. All right, guys. We're down to our last little bit. Let's do it. Let's crush it. Let's crush it. I love crushing them. Oh, this one's kind of tough to crush. He has some pretty cool ass red embeds in him, though. Oh, come on. I know some people hate it when you play with bath bombs, but I don't know. I don't care either or. Have fun with your stuff. There we go. There we go. Wow. Okay, that is nice and peachy colored. Okay, so our water, we have like kind of a orangey color going on here. It smells like a cupcake. It does. It does smell like a cupcake. And it is, if I can get my light to not blur it out too much, it is completely covered in sparkles. So I guess there was a, like luster in this one. The whole line had a lot of like shimmery sparkles, luster. The whole line was awesome. Really, really, really liking it. Are you guys able to see any of the sparkle? Are you able to see it? I know my light is so badly, like, screwing it up, but are you able to get any of it? Oh, that autofocus is killing me. I shut off the autofocus all the time, and it still does it. Okay, so the entire bath is orange. It's foamy and creamy looking and bubbly. And I'm sure if I turned my water on right now, it would bubble, but unfortunately, I just showered for almost a half an hour, and I am running out of hot water, so I do not want to turn on the water and cool my bath down because I like it nice and steamy, baby. Okay, um, this one had a rubbery snake inside of it, which wigged me out a little bit. Um, I'm glad that I kind of didn't know it was in there. It was funny and I liked the fact that it was there. <laughs> but I thought that's cool. It kind of fit the whole bill, you know? Like, look up look up gluttony on the, uh, you know, on Google and you'll see it kind of fits the whole... I look everything up. Everything, man. Every 10 minutes, I'm like, Rich, can I see your phone? And I'm looking up something on my phone, you know? <laughs> but this is really pretty. Really, really pretty sparkly. Really nice. Smells amazing. Moisture on this one is at least an 8 to a 9. From a 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest. Really loving this one. A lot of those bath bombs that we did out of the 7 Deadly Sins had uh, essential oils in them. Um, very luxury made. They were made more luxury, more than they were just like you know, a, a fun type of bomb. It was more of a luxury style. So, like more of an adult type luxury style. So you really, 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 really get to kick back, relax, and just enjoy a moment of just pure relaxation and enjoying a product. You know, I happen to really love bath bombs and I am really, really, really in love with the fact that this was more of a luxury lined box. 
So if you were lucky enough to get a Seven Deadly Sins box, I believe they were shipped out uh, this week. And everybody will be able to get theirs. Um, I was lucky enough to get it early and show you guys everything that was in it. And Gluttony was my final balm to do. And I am very happy that I saved him this long. He was my favorite. He's a piggy and he smells like cupcakes, birthday cake type stuff. He smells good. He, he really does smell like a cupcake. So I'm going to get out of my bath smelling like a cupcake tonight. The scent is lingering on my hands and my arms. I smell it all around me. Um, I'm, I'm sure the bathroom smells like it because it's, it's a nice strong smell. Nothing migraine-ish, nothing like that in the entire box. Everything was beautiful, amazing. Um, definitely the goat one is one of my favorite, the Dolce & Gabbana fragrance. An amazing smell. And then when I put it in, it scared me because it went fizzed out real fast and it was a really really dark blue so it actually scared me first time in my life a bath bomb ever freaked me out a little bit and then this guy who had a snake in him i am definitely not a snake fan um all right that's about it so if you guys enjoyed seeing the seven deadly sin box and you uh had a good time hit the thumbs up button let me know this is stuff you enjoy and i will continue to make content for you as well as uh subscribe to my channel please if you'd like to. If not, perfectly okay. But you won't know the next time I put something on if you don't hit that subscribe button and turn on that little notification bell. That little notification bell helps you out. And make sure if you are subscribed to my channel, double check. YouTube does glitch and throws people off sometimes. Double check that, you're, uh, that you are subscribed, that the subscribe thing is not red. The little word subscribe. If it's red, push it. Um, if it's black, you're good. <laughs> And make sure the bell is clicked, so that way you know and you'll get a notification when we go live. I try and go live every Saturday, so we can have our little slumber party. Um, I may go live at different times. Uh, sometimes I do live unboxings. So anytime that I go on, whether it be live, whether I'm post posting a video, anything like that, you'll know because you have pushed that bell and you have subscribed to this channel. Plus, any giveaways that are upcoming, the only way you can enter is you got to be subscribed. So I love you guys, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, let me know if you were lucky enough to get your hands on one of the Seven Deadly Sins Whiskey Mermaid boxes, and if you'd like to order from Whiskey Mermaid, go ahead and scroll down below, click Whiskey Mermaid, go shopping. She's got stuff for everybody on that site, and she's got stuff that is affordable. If you, you know, want to get a bunch of the clamshell looking bath bombs, and not the big old, big old round guys, then you can mix together and mix and match a few scents with the clamshells, and they are absolutely perfect. They also, one by themselves, is perfect for a bath. So if you're, you know, worried about a budget or anything like that, the site, the, the shop is very budget-friendly. So you can definitely get yourself a couple items. Um, also, follow her on Instagram. Follow her, you know, Facebook, Instagram, any social media. Follow her. She does do little things like, you know, um, coupon codes, things like that. Uh, free shipping days, stuff like that she does. So make sure you follow her on her Instagram. I love you all. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow night. And, uh, you know, pay it forward whenever you can. Be good to one another. Enjoy your baths. And, uh, yeah, that's about all. Just be a nice person. <laughs> and I will speak to you all tomorrow night. Have a good night, guys.